Hey guys, Merry Christmas from Geekdom Movies. And um, I just got back from seeing a movie uh, with a special guest, uh, my wife Stephanie, who joined me. Hi. And uh, you guys know in the comments, you always ask on YouTube, uh, where's your wife? Does she like movies? Yes, she does. <laughs> and I took her to a specific movie that would be more her liking appropriate um so i'll let have her tell you about that whether that was good or not uh but yeah we just wanted to go see little woman um on christmas day and besides me not rem so i did read the book when i was in middle school um i don't know if i ever saw an adaption of it but like i do remember the major parts of the book uh growing up so this movie was very like kind of nostalgia for me going back and watching it and um yeah uh my only complaint for this movie is we had like kids in there which was really weird but other than that the movie still it like even christmas so it was still christmas yeah a lot of families i don't know if you should take your kids to this i don't even think they're gonna pick up on a lot of the like themes or anything like that because it's not a kids movie at all it's like more like teenage anyways so my wife is here with me and she went to go see little woman all right stephanie this is my wife stephanie sorry i didn't say that yet so <laughs> this is my wife stephanie what did you think of little woman I thought, well, I never read the book, but um, I enjoyed it. I thought it was very well acted. Um, yeah. The women seemed very genuine yeah. in their roles. Meryl Streep was fun as the aunt. Yeah. Um, she's always <laughs> a great actress. She, um, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but never reading the book, I thought the... Um, the it wasn't in chronological order. I don't know if the book was in chronological order, but it felt no. like you were reliving their memories as a right. family. Yeah. As um the sisters together and I thought it was just really beautiful. Like the bond between sisters was really cool. Yeah, the girl who yeah. plays Joe, she was in that movie we saw last year with the mom. Gosh, I forgot the I name. I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> um she she got nominated last year for a movie where she played a teenage girl. And her mom was just really mean to her. And she has this weird relationship with her oh, mom. Oh, Lady Bird. Lady Bird. Thank yeah. you. She was a Lady Bird. Um, that was a good one, too. She, yeah, yeah. Um, she's a really good actress. I think she's just yeah. going to become really famous down the road. Emma Watson from the Harry Potter movies is also in this. And she's I thought good. She yeah. was good. Yeah. Um, there's two other sisters. I didn't recognize either of them. But they did their part pretty well. And Lauren Dern is the mom. And I... I've always liked Lauren Dern. I think she's a phenomenal actress. She was in uh, The Last Jedi. She's the one who pushes the button and makes the ship go into the other ship and blows it up. And she dies <laughs> like in this epic heroine way. But she's also in Jurassic Park and a lot of other movies. Oh, yeah, she is. Um, so she's, oh my gosh, like she is so good in this movie. Um, Timothy Elephant plays the love interest who is in love with two sisters. Um, you might remember him from, well, he was nominated last year, I can't remember the movie, but he's he's really good in this. He's actually becoming a man, which is really weird. The movie I saw him last year, he was like 14, but in this, he looks like he's 19, 20, so time is definitely... He looks very young. I'd say he looks he still like looks really young. 17, 17, 16. yeah. But I think that makes sense, because they all kind of look 20 and younger, so it just kind of fits that... Well, you Mold. feel like they're in, they're in their teenagers. Yeah, when they're yeah. Acting it, yeah. Right. It's a young romance and like Pride and Prejudice. So if you like Pride and Prejudice, you'll love this. Yeah, if you're looking yeah. for like a fun like date night movie, I would say like we did. Um, if you wanna, you know, just it's uh, more for women. Yeah, obviously, it's a chick flick. <laughs> guys, okay, guys, I will tell you, you will appreciate because a lot of guys do watch. You know, they like different genres. You yeah. will enjoy this movie. This is not like one hundred percent girls movie. This is a really good story. The the acting is phenomenal. Um, the period piece and the cinematography and the details in that world is really fun to watch and it's just like eye candy, like just imagining um the what costuming that, is good. Oh, the costume, yeah. right? Um so guys, I think you will I don't know if you'll like it as much as women would, but I, I think you will at least not be bored. Um you'll it'll be interested enough to you keep watching it and there are really funny parts there are parts that i just laugh out loud funny um my only yeah. complaint was and i was talking about this when we were driving back from the movies was that the first 20 minutes just feels like they're dragging it like it's like the main story doesn't really hit until after half an hour or so well 
I guess I didn't feel that way. I thought mm-hmm. the beginning sequence when she is trying to sell her ideas to the editor. Yeah. Um, I thought, well, cool, we're going to look into her life. But then it gets a little slow in her life in New York. And oh, the yeah. The whole movie yeah. is pretty long. But it is long. You love the characters so much that you are enjoying the moments. Yeah. And you're not you're not feeling like, oh, when is this over? Because right. Because you feel like you're really living your life out with them. Like yeah. you care about the characters enough to know what happens next. Even the little details in life that would be boring in other yeah. movies kind of seem interesting. In this movie, like you said, because of these characters and what they're going and through. And their struggles. And their struggles. Yeah. And um I think Lauren Dern is phenomenal as the strong woman who's raising these um these girls all by herself and um she has that one line that just blew me away she's like i'm angry every day i just don't show it and her, she tells her daughter that isn't that what hulk says <laughs> yeah, he's like maybe the hulk stole my it secret, from you know my the secret woman is book. that i'm always angry cow but I, isn't that his, yeah what yeah <laughs> but i i like you like know that. I, I think that's a really great representation of, like, girls and moms of that time who have so much to offer. And I guess, like, society at the time didn't really appreciate women. Like, you know, these girls who are talented, they have great things to give, and the mom is probably really great. Her husband's in the war, Lauren Dern's character, and she's just ra- raising these four girls all by herself. And everyone just kind of tells them, at you know, in that period, like, you know, hey, like, if you... It, it's good to, like, pursue your own ambitions and, like, pursue what you love. But at the yeah. end of the day, unless you're married, you're not... It doesn't... It won't matter. You have matter. no value unless right. you are married. Yeah. Um, And it just shows the societal difference between the Victorian era and where we are now in society. And yeah. It's kind of looking back how far women have come. Yeah. Um, And the things we fought for. Right, and right. It, it makes... You know, especially me, you know, <laughs> as a working lady, uh, <laughs> feel empowered, mm-hmm. um, but also kind of kind sobered of like, yeah. by seeing the history of where how far women have come right. to have be able to work and right. able to not be defined by you like know marriage and marriage kids, right. and children and yeah. Being a, someone's property yeah like where do you draw the line okay wait do i like you know the main character this isn't a spoiler this is just kind of what she goes through it's like do i want to get married and she doesn't think she wants to get married because she feels like she needs to pursue her own life but then she realizes like no like i also want marriage but the way marriage has been told to her is very like not really like the you know, you should marry someone because you love them. You should marry them so you don't die and, like, the man can take care of you. And I feel like that's her struggle, Joe's struggle throughout the movie is, like, and her kind of, like, facing that and being like, no, but I also just, I just want to get married also at the same time. We'll continue. And she found somebody. And, like, there's a lot of women in the past who have, like, fought for freedom, which I really, you know, I don't know what women went through because I was, I'm not a woman, but I also don't know what... <laughs> You know, that struggle is for yeah. women fighting for their rights. I mean, there's tons of, you know, things that I've heard, but this movie kind of makes you live in the life of these girls and this mom and, like, what it means to be um, a female. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, it was powerful. Yeah. But <laughs> it was also enjoyable. Yeah, so I would say go watch it. I think you'll really appreciate it if you read the book. I think you'll like it if you haven't read the book. And that the story sounds good. You should check it out also because I think you'd you'd definitely enjoy your time in this time period. Ha ha. Okay. <laughs> Enough of that. Anyways, yeah, go see it, Stephanie. What do you think? Should people go see it? I think it's good. Yeah. yeah. I think it's good for uh women and families and guys and Anyone who's read the book, you know, should definitely go see it. Because there's been a lot of film adaptations and other yeah. things. And I think it's a good, probably a good adaptation of the book. Absolutely. To go see. All right, guys, let us know what you think. Click like, subscribe, tell your friends. And, of course, leave us a comment. Let us know if you've seen the movie, if you're going to go see it, and what you thought of it. Take care. Until next time. Bye. Bye.